and welcome back. You'll have to forgive the noise because that's the noise of the inverter that you see behind me. Its cooling fans are engaged because we're running the house at this point in time off solar as well as its air conditioner and the garage's air conditioner. But I wanted to bring you back while we're under about a 30 to 40 amp load being pulled out of the batteries just because of some cloud cover right now to kind of show you the the uh, the amount that it's pulling from each bank. So we've got our amp meter here set to DC and we've zeroed out. You can see on the gauge there we're pulling about 15.4 amps out of this pack. And then we'll check the other one. We got about 15, yeah, 14, 15 amps out of this pack. So we'll let that stabilize out. Now this is going to fluctuate a little bit, 15 amps. Let's go back and check this one. About 15.1 amps. So I'm happy with that. It's fairly even, as you can see, between uh, bank A and bank B. And uh, you got to understand that that will fluctuate as the cloud cover moves and clouds move out of the way. We can generate more solar then obviously, you know, it'll start to be a positive into the bank, but I wanted to show you what it's like when it was under load. And once we get some decent charging current coming in, we'll come back out here and take another reading, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. But uh, we also ran the house, or a percentage of the house last night uh, on the battery bank. Uh, we drained the bank to about 82% uh, state of charge. And so far, so good. Uh, actually, everything's are humming along quite nicely. And uh, no complaints thus far, but once we get some decent charging current, we'll bring it back and show you what that looks like. And welcome back. Uh, when the, again, pardon the noise, the inverter is still cranking away. You got a pretty good load. It hasn't cooled down yet. Uh, but that, those fans will spin down eventually, but uh, regardless of that, I wanted to bring you back and show you the previous video. We watched uh, or monitored the banks when they were in a little bit of a discharge. Now they're in a little bit of a charge cycle. About 50-ish uh, amps, I think, was being reported coming in on the shunt for the pack. And as you can see here, this bank's charging at about 29... 8, 29, 9, almost 30 amps. And this bank is charging with about 28.2. Not quite 29, more like 28, 27, 28 again. Cloud move, the clouds are fluctuating out there, so it's going to raise and drop quite a bit. Yeah, so about 29 and a half on this bank. And about 27 almost 28 on this bank so that's again as you saw with the discharge test that we were doing um, that's actually fairly even I'm, I'm quite happy with that we're gonna allow the bank to continue to charge monitor it in the BMS as it comes up and uh, make sure that everything that's still that the BMS is doing what it should be doing and then uh, we'll bring you back as we get more updates I'll, I'll may post this just as a kind of a a quick video and uh, just give you a heads up that we do have other videos coming where we've started to take cells from the old packs like one cell from that pack and one cell from that one so basically one cell from each of the four packs to start and we've already started to load test them to see what capacity that we've lost after 10 months of everyday cycling and those videos will be be posted shortly short uh, sometime shortly after this one but that's just give you an idea that the system is in use at this point as far as our discharge we're seeing a pretty even discharge across the two banks as well as our charging again we're seeing a pretty even distribution on our charging so I'm, I'm actually happy with what we're seeing and uh, I'll catch you later